USS Otis was a submarine tender in service with the United States Navy from 1941 to 1946. In 1945, she was converted to an internal combustion engine repair ship and redesignated ARG-20. Decommissioned in 1946, she was scrapped in 1970. The ship was laid down under Maritime Commission contract June 3, 1940 by the Federal Shipbuilding and Drydock Company of Kearney. New Jersey, MC Hull 70, Yard Hull 175, and launched as Fred Morris on November 2, 1940, sponsored by Mrs. Fred Elaine Morris. Fred Morris, official number 240,200, was the fourth in a series of five identical ships, Fred Morris, and John Likes, built for Likes Brothers Steamship Company of New Orleans and delivered to the company on December 27, 1940 after successful trials for the MC and Likes. The ship was intended for service between the U.S. Gulf ports and ports in United Kingdom and Mediterranean. To meet requirements for river and canal navigation modifications were made for visibility on the bridge and masts were telescopic to meet Manchester ship canal height requirements. The ship was designed to accommodate a crew of 18 deck department, 16 engine department and 9 in the stewards department for a total of 43 crew with two owners staterooms approximating liner cabins suitable for passengers. Characteristics as built were 417 feet 9 in length overall, 395 feet 0 in length between perpendiculars, 60 feet beam, 27 feet 6 in loaded draft, 6,863 GRT, 9,095 DWT, with a displacement of 12,875 tons. Propulsion was a de Laval steam turbine driving a bronze, variable pitch, three-bladed propeller 17 feet 6 in in diameter. Two 250 kilowatts de Laval steam turbine generators provided electrical power. The launch can be seen in stock footage used in the opening scenes of the 1964 film The Incredible Mr. Limpet. The Fred Morris was acquired by the Navy on March 1, 1941 and commissioned as USS Otis on March 19, 1941 with Commander Joel Newsom in command. The lone ship in her class, she was named for Otis, a mythological son of Iphimedia and Poseidon. Assigned to the Asiatic fleet as a submarine tender, she was anchored in Marivelas Bay, Philippine Islands, on December 7, 1941. On December 10, 1941 she was slightly damaged during the Japanese air raid on the Cavite Navy Yard, when several bombs landed near her starboard side. Not wanting to risk one of the few tenders in his command, Admiral Hart, Commander Asiatic Fleet ordered Otis to leave the Philippines. Departing 10th of December she arrived at Port Darwin, Australia on 28th of December. Remaining at Port Darwin through January 1942 Otis steamed to Java and Trincomalee, Ceylon, during February and the first part of March. She returned to Australia on 10th of March, where she tended submarines at Fremantle until departing for the United States on 25th of July. Arriving Mare Island Naval Shipyard 24th of August, Otis underwent an extensive overhaul until January 23, 1943. After a brief stop at Pearl Harbor she returned to Australia 22nd of February where she remained, steaming from port to port as the demand for her services dictated, until 1 September. From September 1943 until December 1944 Otis served at four different sites in New Guinea furnishing tender services for escort vessels, minecraft, and amphibious craft as well as submarines. Departing Hollandia Bay 25th of December, Otis arrived at San Pedro Bay, Leyte Gulf, Philippines on January 6, 1945 and commenced providing routine upkeep and emergency repairs to the ships of the Southwest Pacific area. On June 25, 1945 her classification was changed to ARG-20. On December 1, 1945 Otis left San Pedro Bay en route to Portland, Oregon. Arriving January 2, 1946, she was assigned the duty of deactivating vessels. She carried out this work at both Portland and Astoria until June 29, 1946, when she steamed to Seattle to commence an activation overhaul. Otis decommissioned August 20, 1946 and was sold the following day. She was struck from the Naval Vessel Register September 25, 1946. In 1970 she was at Olympia, Washington with the National Defense Reserve Fleet. The ship was finally sold for scrap, November 2, 1970, to Zetal Explorations Inc. Of Portland, Oregon. Otis received one battle star for service in World War II. This article incorporates text from the Public Domain Dictionary of American Naval Fighting Ships. Navsource Online, Service Ship Photo Archive, USS Otis. Thanks for watching.